Okay, in this Grasshopper Logics and Data Management tutorial uh, for the Grasshopper course, I'm going to explain how we can manage output data. So, uh, when we have the outputs and we want to manage them, uh, the example is going to be a turning tower. And as you can see here, I'm going to explain, if I give a simple curve as a plan of that tower, uh, we need different number of divisions on the facade. As you can see here, we will have uh, four or five here, uh, and three here, and two here, and so on. So this tutorial is going to show you, and let's just give this another plan. So as you can see here, again, this is going to be two, and this is going to be three. And we are going to manage this based on the number of the, the surface uh, lengths and uh, by doing the dimensions and so on. So, uh, and the last plan, as you can see here, is a simple curve, and you can just produce that. Uh, we can define the height of that, we can define the rotation. So, I'm going to change the rotation of the tower, as you can see here, it just changed. Uh, we can define the height of the uh, roofs, the number of the plans we need here. You can see I can increase that. And also, uh, we can define how many number of windows we need on that facade. As you can see, I can increase that number and just, you can see that the number of the division increases here as I increase that. Okay, so you can see that there's a tree here and, and just increased by one. So this is how we manage output data. And I'm going to explain what happens when we deconstruct our data. We have different groups, as you can see here. So this tutorial is about managing outputs.